Yeah. Let me do it this way. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, my name is Brian Ruth. I am a senior software engineer at Garmin. And I'm going to talk about debugging on embedded hardware with Visual Studio 2019. So initial setup. Uh, so starting in Visual Studio 2017, Microsoft added support to open up any project, not just uh, MS Build projects. It's mainly targeted towards CMake, but it'll work for anything. They extended this in 2019. This is very similar to the functionality in Visual Studio Code, except that it's different and not really documented. So to add embedded co components to Visual Studio, you need to have the desktop development uh, for Visual Studio C++ install plus Linux development. If you've already got installed, just open up your Visual Studio installer and modify. All right, building custom tasks. Visual Studio has, knows how to make CMake, knows how to do MS Build, doesn't know how to do other build systems. So to do that, they've got this tasks.vs.json file that can either be in the project's root directory or in the .vs folder that Visual Studio creates. Probably want to put it in the root directory so it could be part of your source control. So in this, we're going to use a build to tool called WAF. It's a Python-based build tool. We're building a CPP con project in development mode. So we're going to go ahead and edit the tasks.vs.json file. We're going to call it build CPP con development. It's going to apply to every file in the folder. And it's going to be a command, and we're going to run our command. We're also going to tell it what we expect the output of this command to be. Workspace root is a special uh, variable defined that supposedly points to the um, root of your folder. So to run it, after we go in, save it, refresh a few times, if we right click in our solution explorer, way down the bottom there you may be able to see there's sysbuild cppcon development, go ahead and click on it, and it starts the build. But once we got our firmware built, how do we get it on there? Well, we could just back out into a command line, or we could just create another task. This one's another generic command, applies to everything, and we're going to launch that to, to forward everything over. Well, debugging using custom launching. Once we get the firmware onto the device, Visual Studio has no idea what you're using as a debugger. So conveniently, they have this launch.vs.json, again, project root or .vs folder, that's going to be able to tell Visual Studio how to go about connecting to your debugger. This is what you need to do. I'll break it down. We're going to do debugging using a Segger J-Link debugger. So first what we need to do is we need to create the launch configuration, tell it where the ARM GDB is, tell it what we're using as a compiler, tell it how, um, where the JLink server is, and we're going to be calling this launch uh, cppcon hardware. All right, next section is going to be setting up the GDB server, where we want it to run, what are all the parameters we need to pass to the server, and the server started down there is actually telling Visual Studio what to look for in the console output to assume that it's all set up. And finally, once we get connected to um, the GDB server, we need to tell the GDB what to do. Now, you'll notice the GDB root path up there up at the top. That's because with all the extra backslashes, the workspace root doesn't work for this, so you have to actually make your own separate one. And uh, once you get that done, you may have to refresh a few times. Uh, you go to your play button, hit the drop down, and you'll see the new thing we added along with some other stuff that it finds, but I hear that they're working on filtering that out. Go ahead and hit play on CPVCon hardware, and now we play with fire. Um, we're going to try doing a live demo. All right, so I have actual hardware here. And if I go and click here, it'll hopefully launch on this hardware. And it's not. And this is why live demos are not good during lightning talks. Let's try loading the firmware real quick. Ah, uh, it's not working. Oh, well. We tried. <laughs> All right, so troubleshooting. Um, if you... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. If you have issues, there is an undocumented command that you can use. Open up your uh, command window, and you can turn on debug logging, debug on or off, and it's going to output all of your commands that you send to your launch.vs.json out to a log file so you can see what's going on. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. And uh, some resources. Microsoft has a couple blog posts going over how to do this type of thing, but the main thing to do is if you go into the open folder schema.json that's installed with Visual Studio, it goes into what all the different parameters are, what they do. That's probably the best resource. So, and the obligatory, I work at Garmin, we're hiring. Thanks.